Alright, so you're lucky enough to get your Antminer L3 Plus and you need to set it up, but you're not quite sure how. First, plug in the power to the each hashing board. Make sure that they're seated in tight. Also, make sure there's power to the control board. You need to do this first before turning it on. Then, get an Ethernet cable, plug it into your router, and run the other end to the back of your amp miner. There's only one hole, so you can't really get it wrong. Pretty straightforward. Once you got the Ethernet up and all the power cables plugged in, that's when you want to plug in the power, and the machine will start to boot up, and it's loud. Just take a listen. <laughs> I put mine in the garage and I use these moving blankets kind of dampen the sound, makes it a little more tolerable. Anyways, it takes about two minutes to boot and once it's up and running you gotta configure the miner itself. So first thing is first, we need to figure out which IP address was assigned to the amp miner and there's a ton of different ways to do this. If you bothered to read the instructions that came with it, it'll even tell you there using one of Bitmain's utilities. I think the easiest way is just by logging into your router. So I've already done that and I'm looking over here at the client list and that'll tell you which devices are on your network. I noticed 10.0.10.8 was a little bit different and I didn't recognize it. Um, later I named that as AntMiner, but you're gonna have to find which IP address is new or, or that you don't normally recognize to figure out which one is, is the AntMiner itself because it might not say AntMiner. Uh, once you figure out which IP address is assigned to it, go ahead and type that into your browser and that'll bring you to the logon page. Username is root, password is also root, and once you're logged in you'll be on the overview page. The overview page really doesn't say a whole lot but one thing you want to keep in mind is the file system version right here this date is actually the name of the firmware and that is the latest as of October 26, 2017. Uh, one thing you want to check before configuring it is going over here to minor status and just making sure it's running correctly. There's a couple things you want to check. First, uh, you'll want to check your uh, your servers here which pools you're mining to and right now you're probably noticing that yours say ant pool uh, that's because you're mining for bitmain and making them a little bit of money we'll get that changed over though next thing you want to look at is just check all the boards you'll see there's four boards here each one has 72 chips um, and this is the status of the chips over here you want to make sure that all of those are zeros if each one of those is zero it means it's running correctly if you have any x's it means you probably need to reboot the machine if you have any dashes it means you probably have hardware errors and you'll need to send that back for warranty or for repair another thing you want to look at is the temperature uh, just make sure that none of these are close to 80 degrees celsius that's way too hot and it actually automatically shuts off at that temperature you'll see your hashing rate right here and your average hashing rate for the lapse time or the time that it's been up and running. Anyways, let's get to the configuration. So go over here to the minor configuration tab and we're going to need a couple things. First you're going to see URL. Uh, for the URL we're going to need to get a server or a pool to put there. Uh, NiceHash makes it real easy. Just head on over to their website. So I'm going to go to NiceHash.com. Right on the home page it says you want to sell or buy. You're selling your hashing power so go ahead and click learn more. You got an ASIC machine with your AntMiner L3. Um, and then choose the server that's closest to you. I'm in the United States, uh, so I'm going to select USA and generate stratum. Go ahead and copy and paste this address, and this is what you're going to use for the URL tab of the AntMiner page. So go ahead and put that into this box here. Once you got that going, we're going to need a wallet to send your bitcoins to once uh, you get paid. The easiest way to do this, or if you don't already have a wallet, I recommend Coinbase. Uh, they're an awesome company based here in the United States. Uh, very easy, very easy to use. You can sell Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. And if you use the, the link in the description, you'll even get a bonus for signing up. Anyways, once you're signed in there, it's real easy to figure out what your Bitcoin address is. Go up here to Accounts, click on Bitcoin, click Receive, show the address, copy and paste this here. For the address here, this is what we're going to put back in the AppMounter page. This is what we're going to put for the worker. Uh, go ahead and put your wallet there. Now if you want to name your wallet or name your worker rather um, if you have multiple miners uh, you can put a dot and then a name at the end and I named this one L31 it's my first worker my second one would be L32 etc you can do the same thing by putting dot and then the name after your Bitcoin wallet address NiceHash doesn't care about a password so go ahead and uh, put whatever you want there 123 works fine um, you'll definitely want to put in a different pool as a backup now I'm still using NiceHash but I'm using their European servers um, if for any reason Europe or all of NiceHash's servers go down, I then have ProHashing as my third. You'll definitely want to configure those. Once you do that, make sure you hit Save and Apply over here in the bottom corner, and your Ant Miner is going to reboot. When it comes back up, go ahead and log in again and check their miner status. 
make sure that the information has been updated in the URL for the user that should be your wallet and then make sure the status of the ASIC chips are all zeros here and that your temperatures are looking okay also double check your hashing rate um, and make sure that you're in the close to the 504 range so once you see that everything's up and running smoothly you want to monitor the progress and make sure that you're getting paid the best way to do that is by copying and pasting the Bitcoin wallet address that you used previously the one that you got from Coinbase here and then we're going to go back to NiceHash's website. If you notice at the top of their website, they say Find Miner. Go ahead and select that and copy and paste the address that you used for your Bitcoin wallet. And then Find Statistics. This will load the page showing you an overview of how well your machine's doing. Once it's pulled up here, you'll see uh, what you're making per day, the efficiency, how many workers are currently online, and your unpaid balance, as well as some projected payouts. Now, I don't take these these estimations too seriously. Um, if you scroll down, you'll see the profitability um, of the machine, and you can see that throughout the day it varies quite drastically. There's very high points and there's very low points. Um, so this always doesn't represent accurately what you're really going to make in a day. I've noticed that I've made about twenty dollars per day um, this week, and uh, um, it has been going down slightly. Now that your L3 Plus is up and running, I do recommend checking this nice hash page at least once a day just to make sure that your efficiency is close to 100% and that you're making money. Also check the Antminer page, make sure your temperatures are good, make sure that all the chips are showing zeros. Again, remember if it's showing X's, you'll probably need to reboot the machine and check that all the power cables are seated correctly. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.